Sunday House Call of the Doctors, and it's now time for Should I Worry? Our weekly segment about everything that worries us, and here's a viewer email, this one about prostate cancer, writes, I had surgery for prostate cancer, and now my PSA is going up. Why is that, and should I worry? Dr. Samadhi, uh, should we worry? So, Harry, this question comes up once in a while. It's a very rare incident that we would see the PSA after surgery will go up. The main benefit of surgery is that you remove the entire cancer. Patients are in control because they know exactly what type and how, many, how much cancer they have in their prostate. Guess what? The PSA after surgery should be undetectable or zero. And that's why I prefer surgery over radiation as a first line of treatment. Now, if you have an aggressive cancer, seminal vesicle invasion, the PSA was high to begin with, sometimes in 5 to 10 percent of the time, the PSA can come back after surgery. That's when radiation has a role. So you can give radiation after surgery, but it would be very difficult to do surgery after radiation. And all these ads that we see about HIFU and cyber knives and others, I want people to be careful because with surgery, you remove the cancer, patient is in control with the option of radiation after. What I will tell this, this uh, person is that we have to see how fast and when the PSA is coming back. If it comes back way after his surgery, then it's not a huge problem. If it also depends on the doubling time, we want to see what the speed of this PSA is. If it goes from 0.1 for a year or two and then goes to point two, I'm not so concerned. That could be some benign what's, cells. What's normal? Well, it should be zero. So after, it, surgery. after, after surgery, surgery, it should be zero. And it's very, PSA is very, very sensitive after surgery. And that's the big part of this. Okay. Tell folks what it means, though, if it isn't zero after surgery. Excellent. So it could be a benign tissue, meaning like it's not going to really kill the person, or it could be a cancer. If it comes back at doubling time, let's say the first year is 0.1, soon it's going to be 0.2, 0.4, 0 0.8, in that situation, we have the option of giving radiation and take care of the Dr. patient. Siegel, so don't what panic. If, what if you don't have surgery, you're normal, like I'm normal, normal person, and you, uh, mm -hmm. you, you get that thing every, every year, you get it, get the number. I don't know what it means, 3.1, 9.2. How, what do I look for? I'll and tell you what to look for, normal. but I want, yeah. also want everyone out there to know that was Dr. Samadhi on the right of the screen, too, in yeah. his operating room. And you were which, there, too, which I've been, I That was me filming him, That's and right. he was Ooh. tremendous as a, as a robotic mm -hmm. surgeon. I was very impressed. You know, there he is again. Look. It, that's his hands. Those are his hands there. It's interesting. And, and that's the robot. Mark, that, uh, he, he was, uh, as a doctor, he came in and he saw it for himself. It's interesting. Because you can say all the robotics, etc., but he saw the fine movements. These There's surgeries. his team there, which is tremendous, too. Right, so, anyway, so, we look at? We look so, so basically, you know, I, I, I follow a trend. Yeah. You know, there's an, a magic number of four, a PSA of four. If it gets higher than that, I need to know the family four, history. Right. I need, to okay. know the, I need to know the family history. I need to know if you had a large prostate to begin with. I need to follow a trend. I need something to check something called the free PSA, which is if, if it's low, it's more worrisome. But here's the point. If I see a trend going up, or I feel something on the prostate on my exam, do not stop doing those. Pro Everyone out there should not only get a PSA, you should get a prostate exam over the age of 40. If I have a concern, I send the patient to a, a, a specialist like Dr. Samadhi, but I follow the trend. There's no absolute number. We don't have the, this is a great screening tool in the right hands. It's part of the art of medicine. By the way, Eric, uh, a couple of months ago, we started this whole program to give back to the community. For anyone who's diagnosed with prostate cancer, they can come to my Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. They can send their questions, and we will just give them our That's opinion. Great. And that has helped a tremendous number of people. I don't want this person to panic. We have the options. We can study it and do the right thing for them. Right. Great, great, great question, because you'd assume it would be zero forever. Mm -hmm. And if cells are left behind, you want to know. That's right. Thank you, doctors. Mm -hmm.